Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to Bugmas 2018, my annual bug eating countdown to Christmas. Today is day five, the last day of Bugmas. Merry Christmas to all of you that celebrate it. And today I'm going to be making chocolate truffles. If you've missed the previous installments of Bugbus this year, I will put the links down below. I showed you how to grow your own mealworms, how to process them, and then a few recipes to cook with them. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet little dessert, a beautiful chocolate truffle recipe. You certainly don't need to use mealworms. You could just dust these in cocoa powder and have them that way. But it wouldn't be Bugmas unless we're using bugs. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take two cups of chocolate. I like a little bitterness in my chocolate, so I used a combination of semi-sweet and bittersweet. You can either chop this up yourself or do what I did and just use chocolate chips. And then we're gonna bring one cup of heavy cream to a simmer and pour that on top of our chocolate. Let that sit and be happy together for about three minutes, and that'll allow the hot cream to warm up the chocolate. Then we're gonna stir this to incorporate all that chocolate and heavy cream together. And now you have this luscious, gorgeous ganache. You can actually use this for other things like topping a cake. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. We're gonna pour it onto a cookie sheet that's been lined with parchment paper or wax paper and pour it in one single layer. Don't spread it out too thinly because when we put it in the refrigerator, it might get too hard. So just pour it out and mine decided to pour out in a very interesting shape. Then we're gonna place this in the refrigerator to allow it to set up for about an hour. So after about an hour, an hour and a half, you'll get something like this. I cannot guarantee the shape of yours, but mine decided to look like that. So there is my beautiful, cool chocolate ganache. Now we want it to be a scoopable consistency because we're gonna use that to roll our truffles. And take about a teaspoon and roll it quickly into a ball. Now the warmth of your hands is going to warm that up so you don't want to have too much contact with it if possible. So just quickly shape them into your hand, in the palms of your hands, as fast as you can. Okay, so I'm going to shape that many balls. I'm going to wash my hands. Next we're ready to roll our truffles into our mealworm powder. To get our mealworm powder, we're gonna take our prepared mealworms, place some of them into a sandwich bag, and then just use a rolling pin to crush them. Dump my powder. Onto my plate here. And then I'm gonna try to handle these as little as possible. And then just roll them into the mealworm powder. Back onto our cold pan. Because these are a little bit warm, the powder is sticking really nicely. Cute, looks like toasted coconut. <laughs> a mealworm right on top, like that. So we know what this is made of. Alrighty, so let's give our beautiful mealworm truffle a taste. These turned out so stinking cute. Even if you don't like bugs or mealworms or any kind of creepy crawlies, you do have to say that's pretty stinking cute. I mean, if you took this off. Like this, in this current state, even if you don't like bugs or they give you the heebie-jeebies, if you were to look at that, you'd say, yes, that is beautiful. But we have to remember what this is made of, so I'm gonna put that right back. <laughs> I'm so pleased how these turned out. All right, let's cut this open. This one's still a little soft but if it were in the refrigerator a little bit longer, that would be a little bit firmer, but that looks delicious, look at that. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Happy Bugmas, Merry Christmas, itadakimasu. So, so good. The texture of the ganache is so lovely. It's silky and smooth. And because we use semi-sweet and bitter chocolate, it has a nice little bitterness to it. It's not overly sweet. And then you get a little bit of crunch of the mealworm, but you don't really have any additional flavor. It's a little bit nutty. I know because I've eaten mealworms that they have a nutty flavor, but I don't really taste them at all. If anything, it just gives it a nice little textural contrast, a little in there. It goes really, really nicely with the chocolate. I mean, yes. That ganache is so good, so slipperily smooth. And then you've got like, you know, crispy exoskeletons on the outside. 
Mmm. Don't forget the worm. Delicious, decadent, lovely. So if you're not like me and you're not interested in eating bugs at all, I still recommend making this truffle recipe because it's outstanding, it's super easy. It would make wonderful gifts. Yeah, just roll these in cocoa powder, roll them in chopped up nuts, shredded coconut, whatever you like. You could even add flavorings if you like. You could add a little peppermint, you could add a little bit of orange or almonds, you can have some flavored chocolate, but plain chocolate is outstanding. Alrighty, so that wraps up Bugmas for this year. I hope you guys are having a lovely holiday season with good company and good cheer. And thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting this channel. I'm so grateful for all the things I'm able to see, do, and eat. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye!